Hi everyone, Scott here, the CEO of Pillow, and I'm making this short video just to introduce the Regional Property Manager opportunity. Now, if you're watching this video, thank you. Hopefully you are interested in it, but I would ask, watch to the end of this video, because it does contain some important information that will help you decide whether this role is right for yourself before you continue on in the application process. So Pillow has been very successful at what we do. We manage holiday homes and service accommodation. We have started off in Glasgow in the southwest of Scotland and I wanted to take the company nationally. So rather than having a big head office with a big call centre, Pillow is going to be doing something very different. We are going to be the leader in the whole of the UK for what we do. We're going to be the largest company doing what we do and I need you guys to be part of that. So rather than people travelling to work, spending time commuting, doing fixed hours in an office, the whole 95, I wanted to create something different. So I thought, what would be the perfect opportunity for me? What would my perfect work-life balance be? And if I could help others have that perfect work-life balance, then that is going to be perfect for them, but also perfect for Pillow as well. So I've created what I believe is one of the best opportunities out there for people that want to start off part-time, build up a career, get back into work, or build a business alongside their current existing business. So this is going to be absolutely perfect for work-life balance. There isn't commuting, there isn't a nine-to-five. You work your schedule exactly around how you want to work your day and plan your life. So if you've got family commitments, you know what, that's cool. We don't need to be doing a nine-to-five. We can get up early and do our emails and do our business, take the kids to school, go and do our hobby, do stuff in the afternoon or the evening, you get to pick. And that's why I wanted to create this role. I believe it's stronger for Pillow, and I believe we can get a team of people working all over the UK that are really, really passionate about what they do, buy into what Pillow provide their clients, and build something really special here. My aim is for it to be the biggest property management company in the UK of our type. We're going to achieve this by your help. So my aim is to have 40 regional property managers covering all over the UK, so I've got full UK coverage, and each of those 40 property managers are going to be managing 50 properties each. That is a nice geographical spread for you to manage that gives you a full-time job and which should give you over £60,000 a year basic income from recurrent management fees and this is your share of that. So you're going to be self-employed. We've done this for various reasons. One, because you can tack it on to existing business commitments you've got but being self-employed is a much smarter way of learning things rather than being an employee. So an employee, you get tax that's source, you get taxed before you take anything off with your PAYE and then you take your business expenses out of your personal money. Now with being self-employed it's the other way, you put all your business expenses, take that away from your income and then you get taxed at the lower amount. So really, really smart way to run things for Pillow and yourself but again this works into being the perfect role for you, it's the most tax efficient method for you. So, what does the job entail? Well, you will be managing a portfolio of properties. You have three main duties in this. Your first duty is to get properties on. You're going to need to build your portfolio to 50 properties, hopefully within two years. Now, this means you're getting a property on every two weeks, and that's very, very achievable. The systems, the trainings, the procedures we have are going to help you do this. So, getting a very modest, very easy target of one property every two weeks. And when you get to your 50, you can decide, well, this is a manageable amount for one person. You can take staff on, you can take help, you can subcontract it out to people to help you do some of the, the administration. Or you can just stay there and, and be happy with what you've got. And that should earn you over £60,000 in recurring income. There's other income streams there, but we won't go into that just now. So building your portfolio is really, really important. You need to dominate your area, and I believe 50 properties gives you a good market share, enough to make a good impact in your area. The next thing is filling properties. Now our procedures, what we do at Pillow, will get your properties filled anyway. We put them onto our software and it will distribute it to over 250 different sites all over the world. So getting, getting customers isn't necessarily going to be a problem, but how you add value to your owners and how you make more money is to get direct bookings. Do this in various methods, I won't go into here, but contacting local companies, being that person that is seen for accommodation, cutting out the fees from the booking portals and the reliance on the booking portals like Airbnb and booking.com and getting direct bookings via Pillow to you is a definite smart way to do it. You'll earn more money and your owners will earn more money. So getting bookings is a big part of what you need to do, filling your properties. You could have 50 properties, but if they don't have any guests, you don't get any money. 
The next thing is managing your portfolio. So there's a day-to-day -day running of this, keeping guests happy, checking them in, organizing cleaners, making sure the maintenance is done, going and meeting new people to get new properties on, meeting landlords, keeping landlords happy, dealing with guest problems because there will be. We all take turns on the emergency phone and sometimes guests just can't work things. Things break as with all property management. So you're gonna to need to be there to manage your portfolio. But the good thing is, once you're up and running, you can do this from anywhere. When I first started, I was managing portfolios from when I went on a wee quick holiday overseas. I was sitting in the balcony and managing portfolios. When I first came up with Pillar, I was sitting in a restaurant on Christmas Eve with the dog and I was doing the Airbnb and doing the bookings and noticing that I was making money by clicking and accepting bookings. We don't need to be going to an office to, to make a good career. We can do this from our pyjamas, from the garden, from anywhere you want. So, but you do need to live and work locally where your portfolio is. So the type of person we're looking for here, well, we can't accept everybody. There's always tough competition for, for the placements when we launch a region. But we're going to need you to commit to the role. Yes, it's a self-employed thing. This isn't a multi-level marketing thing uh, or network marketing. This is something you're going to need to commit to and put the time in. The success of your portfolio is going to be directly linked to the time and effort that you put in. So if you spend half an hour a week on it, you're not going to get many properties on. It's not going to be worth your while. So you can start off part-time. You can start off while working full-time if you wanted. You can work around family and other job commitments. But certainly within a year, this is probably going to be a full-time venture. We say once you've got 25 properties, it's prob probably going to take up a lot of your time. If you get to 50 properties, which is a target for everyone within two years, you should be making more than £60,000 and it should take you roughly 30 hours a week. So not much of a commitment for a good chunk of money there. But again, your income will be directly proportional to the time that you spend setting your property portfolio up. You're going to need to interact with others now. Just because you are maybe down in the corner of Britain and everybody else is all over, you do need to interact with the team. We've got online things that we share. We've got quarterly meetings we come to. You are going to need to be part of that team. We don't just want somebody operating yourself. It can be lonely being self-employed and working from home. You need to interact and support your other team members. Now, I'm not saying the old cliche you need to be a good team player but you do need to be part of the team you need to support them so it is like your office co-workers just because they aren't sitting next to you in a desk doesn't mean to say social media can't mean that they are close co-workers to you so you are going to need to be part of that team and get on board with what pillow is you do need to be organised, you're taking live bookings, people are coming from all over the world to your properties, so you are going to need to make sure the properties are ready for them, there's no double bookings, everything as it should be, and again there's full training provided in this, so don't worry too much at this stage, but you do need to be organised. Mistakes when you're talking with thousands and thousands of pounds worth of bookings, and again you get a share of the commissions that we take in, so your revenue could be millions of pounds a year in income. If you get things wrong, that's massive amount of money that are going to the wrong places and haven't been put to the right places it can be disastrous so you need to be very very organized and your brain needs to be set up to be pretty sharp you're going to need to have some sales skills and be good at sales whether that's phoning up people on the phone meeting people you're going to need to speak to people they'll walk you around your property and you do need to sign them up and get the properties on board and although we give you training on how to do that we don't give you training on how to be a salesperson as such we'll give you the tools and the scripts and how to get in touch with the people you need to physically be there and make the sale at the end so you need to be confident well presented well spoken and be able to close that sale at the end that means you need to be a good communicator. Again, if you're speaking with uh, owners, you need to be speaking to them in a level that gives them trust in you and you give yourself credibility. But also you'll be dealing with guests from all over the world, so you do need to be able to handle that. Speaking to Koreans, Chinese, all the people from all over the world that might speak a little bit of English, you need to be there and, and, and solve problems for these people. Because what's nice and easy and we can work heating here, it's nice and easy, or a boiler or a washing machine. This might all be crazy to someone from a different culture, so you do need to be on board to make sure that you can communicate effectively with people from all over the world. So part of this, and the first thing you're going to need to commit to is coming to HQ here, to our training centre, to do two days of training. This is where we'll get you onboarded, we'll get you all the basics, we'll get you set up with your mobile phone, set up your laptop, do everything we need to do to send you away to your regions to get your way 
pay and earning money and working. So you do need to come to HQ for those two days training. Once you're up and running and sorted and you start getting properties on, we invite you back to do advanced training where you'll do another two days training and we tell you all about the software, getting the properties on, getting them online and getting them out there. So there is a commitment to come here to the west coast of Scotland but that commitment will be paid back by giving you the skills and tools you can go away and build your portfolio. So this opportunity isn't going to be for everyone. It's always very popular and people do jump into it, but I would ask you, are you able to commit to this? Do you think you're going to be good at this? We are looking for people with a background in property, in sales, and hospitality, or tourism. There has been cases where we've taken people out with these sectors, but they haven't found it as easy and they, they mostly don't work. If you've got any experience in property and property management, that's going to be fantastic. We don't view this as property, we view this as a hospitality industry. So hospitality and tourism fit very, very well with this and that's the type of skills we're looking for as well. But if you come from a sales background, then it's much easier to teach the property management side than to make you a good salesperson. So if you've got a sales background, then you're probably going to do very well in this. If you fit into one of these categories and you don't have experience in the others, then that's why the team are here to support you. If you're fantastic at property management and very organised, then the guys in the team that are great at sales will help you. If you're great at sales but you don't know about the software and property management, then you can help them and they'll help you. So we all are part of a national team. There's going to be at least 40 of us all across the UK, all covering your own regions. You will be responsible, you'll have your own territory and you'll be responsible for its success. So you'll have neighbours bring people round about you that are going to help you with the emergency phone, cover your portfolio. So we are going to be part of a close-knit team. So I don't want people to think because we're scattered all over the UK and we're not physically coming into an office and sitting next to each other, that we're not going to be close. So the final thing to say is you need to be part of this. You need to interact on all the platforms and social media, things that we have together, because you do need to be a strong team member. So thank you very much for watching. I've put a lot into this video, speaking very fast to make it short as possible. Please continue on in the application process if you feel this opportunity is for you. And I'll give you lots more details about the income streams, how this is going to work for you and your commitment to us. Thank you very much for watching.